Before we begin to mark and lay out our developed cube pattern, I want to talk a little bit about how to read and measure with a scale. This scale that I have in front of me, or a ruler, is a dual unit ruler, which means it has inches on one side and it has centimeters on the other side. Centimeters are divided into millimeters, which means there's 10 little tiny marks between each big uh, numbered mark here, here, and here. Because we're working with 3 16 inch foam core, we're going to be using inches to do this layout. Now there's a couple of really simple things to look at when you first uh, start using a new ruler. Uh, in this case, we want to know what each of the marks along here means. Now in the first inch, the marks get kind of ridiculously small for the 30 seconds of an inch. And all that means is that there's 32 little tiny marks between here and here. The rest of the ruler, except for the last inch between 17 and 18 inches, is divided into sixteenths. And you can see that little one sixteenth right there, which means that the smallest marks between here are one sixteenth of an inch or there are sixteen in an inch. Now on any ruler, you're going to notice that the large marks mark off the major units. So in this case, it's an inch ruler. We have one, two, three, and those are the largest marks that we can see on the ruler. Uh, the next smallest mark in this case is going to be the half mark, which is one half of that same unit. So one half inch has a slightly longer mark. And then beyond that, we're going to have yet smaller marks at the eighth inch marks. And then likewise, as we go down to sixteenths, we have even smaller marks. And those marks subdivide the eighth inch to give us sixteenths of an inch. An important note about this ruler is that it actually has a zero mark as well. That mark is actually on the ruler. Uh, and this is a great kind of ruler for doing the sort of layout we're doing. Now, when I want to mark something with a ruler, <clears throat> it's a visual sort of practice. So what I have to do in this case is take my zero mark, and I'm going to line it up with the left side of my sheet of foam core here. And what I'm doing is I'm looking directly at the mark, and I'm sort of visually sighting it so that that mark is split by the edge of the page. When I want to make a mark, let's say I wanted to cut a one inch strip off the edge of this piece, uh, I do the exact same thing, but I take my, my very fine leaded mechanical pencil here, and I line up my lead with the one inch mark, and I just make a tiny little light mark. And I know that the interval between the edge of the sheet and that mark is one inch. Likewise, if I wanted to mark off a parallel line, parallel to that edge, which we're going to be doing a lot of in a few minutes, um, I'll make a second mark somewhere up here like this, just within visual range. And again, I'm just exactly splitting that mark, and it looks to me, from my point of view, like this one inch line, and the mark that I just made is one continuous line. And line it up with my two marks that are exactly one inch apart, and I can strike a line that now I'm confident is parallel with that edge. 